Hello to all of you from this Brazilian city of Belo Horizonte. This is the Mineral, the home of two proud footballing institutions, Cruzeiro and Atletico Mineiro. And here we have Russia against Saudi Arabia. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. The lineups, we can have a look at them now. And that gets things running. Goes long. And he's onside. Could cross it here. And a shot! That is wayward. Russia certainly won't want to look back and, and dwell on that. It was a good chance, though. That's a poor kick by the keeper. He's just given it straight back. Looks to thread it through. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. He's making good use of his strength there. He's gone for it! He's tried one! Oh, it's there! And Saudi Arabia take the lead! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. Saudi Arabia take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Now the pass. Russia suffering an early setback and looking to reel it back in. Well, you can be very hard to regroup and work your way back into the match, but they've got time. Russia needing to chase the game already. Forward it goes. Gets it upfield. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Passes it through. Uh, he's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to dink it in. He's had a go! Oh, extraordinary. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do.
Steered out wide. Going through. It's a decent looking cross. Looks like a good ball through. Beautifully done. There's the delivery. And the defence shoots! Boots it to safety. Turns and goes back. Played back in. Chooses to go back. Looks to clip, tries a header! Oh, surely that deserved better. It was such a clever idea to lift it into his path. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. Dinks one in. Whipped in. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. There will be a throw in. So what now? That is terrific skill. And the weighted pass, well positioned to make that interception. Long and high towards the flank. Lovely little display of skill that is. Russia are in need of a lift as we head up towards the break. Looks to dink one in. Knocks it away. Cuts it out. Played out to the wing. He's got away. Diving header! He has done it! Two up now, and they are cruising. Oh, super header, wonderfully acrobatic. He had a choice of trying to volley that or get his head to it, and I'm pleased to say he took the right option. That's a great goal. Saudi Arabia take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Up for the header! And that's been levered clear. Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind and I don't think he knew either.
and he just whacks it away. Tries to get it forward quickly. And we've reached half time. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? That's the start of another 45 minutes. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. He goes long. Looks to slip it through. Oh, good interception. All the way back, and they start again. Aimed long and direct. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Dashing forward at pace. Tries a through ball. No, it's not getting there. Pinged forward. Russia. We've got to see a, a real determination and purpose now if this deficit is to be recovered. No holding back and being patient about this challenge. It's time to roll the sleeves up and, and go for it. Now the pass. Chance to shoot. Timely intervention. They get a throw in. it into the channel pumps it into the area great leap oh just needed a better contact i have to commend the wing plate but i have to condemn the defending they've got to stop the cross That has put pay to that. Tries a through ball. Is it in? Forward it goes. Plays it out to the wing. Ball's out on the left now. Spreads it wide. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Well, it's normally around now that the managers think about making changes. Looks to slip it through. Saudi Arabia have themselves a corner, I think. Yes, they do. Hits one! 
And it's in for the follow-up. And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Played out to the wing. Tried to play it through. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Out to the flank. And the ball is out of play. Russia, look as though they're about to make a change. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. Plays it long. And he's made certain that won't get through. So not long left in this now. Russia have the look of condemned men. Elimination almost a certainty now. This game seems as if it's going to go beyond the rescue point, uh, so they need a goal and fast just to raise spirits and at least give their fans something to cheer. Long and high towards the flank. And that is going out for a goal kick. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. to win it back Russia have a free kick that's it they are out well, great expectations have turned to huge disappointment. They have simply not done enough to merit a place in the knockout stage. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, it all came down to this, and they had to produce to ensure qualification, and they've not delivered. I think looking back over the campaign, have they given enough? Uh, do they deserve more? Probably not, if I'm honest. They had their chances.